Sports.com. Uh, we're here with the victorious Gilbert Panthers. We're here with Coach Gerald Roberts. Coach, a victorious uh, win over a tough Hollis team uh, tonight. Talk about your feelings after the victory. Oh, first of all, I want to start off by congratulating Highlands for the great effort that they gave tonight. I think they played a, one of their better games tonight, which was, at, was to be expected, but I want to start off by complimenting those guys for the uh, contest tonight and keep up the good work. But um, I feel good about tonight. I mean, we need to be tested, and tonight was definitely a big test. Highlands came in, and they really wanted to win the game. And we played like we came to just play the game. It's a difference. Coach, of course, um Back-to-back -back championships, you are actually looking to, to uh, win your fourth, uh, your fourth consecutive. Uh, just talk about being able to uh, with, with withstand the test of different teams, uh, night in and night out. It's hard. It's hard. It's just like uh, some of these NBA and NCAA teams. I'm gonna say Connecticut. Every night, every night they get the other team best effort. And tonight it showed. They Highlands gave us everything we can handle. My boys answered the bell. Um, all I could do is applaud my kids, man. That was a tough one, and they really stepped it up. So, you know, with that being said, I just want to thank my boys for the effort. Talk about some of those boys. Talk about your uh, players that made an, an impact tonight. Oh, Demarion Riley and Antonio Sheffield set the tone. Those are two of my uh, eighth graders, returning eighth graders from the last three previous championship teams. So they're, they're pretty seasoned now. And um, the competition that they saw tonight, they even got in the locker room and said, Coach, that they want it, Coach. They outplaying us tonight. We got to step up. And that shocked me with those guys saying that. So I knew in the end, I, I really felt like we were going to be victorious by the effort that those guys showed me in the second half. Coach, you, you jumped out on them uh, early and let it have time, uh, but Highland stayed in the game. Talk about what you did down the, down the stretch to uh, clamp up the, uh, the uh, defense and it was, get the win. It was the mix-up. It was the mix-up. We, um, we went from a zone, press zone, to a man-to-man, -man, mixing it up because they had got comfortable with our zone and start breaking it. And that was the difference. Once they started breaking the press, they changed the game. So I had to change my defense. And that's what uh, changed the game in our favor. And um, it's called coaching, man. So uh, I got my assistant coach. He came to me. He made a comment to me. And I took it. And I ran with it. So in the end of the day, it was myself as well as my assistant coach making the adjustments to pull that one off. Coach, last question. Just just talk to us about um, you know, what can kids expect to come and play for Matthew Gilbert? And what are some things that you uh, attempt to instill into the kids? First, academics. We start with academics, guys. If you don't have the grades, I don't care how athletic you are, Coach Robert stress to you, school is first. So we'll start with that. Anyone that's willing and, and want to come to Gilbert, let's make sure your academics right and you come over there with a positive attitude and great sportsmanship. That's the way you come again with Panther. I'll be waiting for you. Coach Roberts, thank you so much, and good luck for the rest of the season. Anytime, man. You're the best. Thank you, sir.